Hello and welcome to the Futures 3 video training series. My name is Jeff Christiana and this is video number one of the SkeinForge 47 video series on how to use SkeinForge. Watch me first. What do I really need to know to get started? Now SkeinForge, SkeinForge at first is very, for some people, very scary. Um, when you go in here to look at your profiles, you edit and you go in you're like wow look at all these settings <clears throat> RTF 3D profile we have gone through and made many changes many many setting changes throughout every one of these tabs the only thing you need to concern yourself when you get a printer and you want to print is the following tabs you care about carve you care about fill you care about speed, you care about temperature, you care about the skirt, and that is uh, that is pretty much pretty much it that you'd want to look at. And even then, the only thing you ever want to make changes to are probably the carve setting. And under carve, you want to make yourself a new layer thickness, let's say point two or or one 1.5 millimeter you want to change this number and the perimeter width over thickness ratio those are the only two that you would want to change under car under fill you would want to change extra shells as needed and you would want to change your infill parameter overlap possibly um, possibly change your infill pattern. You would uh, definitely want to change your infill width over thickness if you're changing your tip size. You could change your solid surface thickness and your thread sequence choice if you want. And that's pretty much it under fill and under speed. Under here you would probably make adjustments to your feed rate, flow rate, and your object first layer and possibly a travel free rate. Now each one of these tabs I have created a detailed video for your car, your fill, and your speed. You'll see there's multiple videos for each. I will have videos for every single one of these but those are your key areas. Now a note don't go up here and change your profile type. Don't go up here and change your profile selection. If you change this to PLA, all your numbers will change. <clears throat> if you're printing PLA, leave it on ABS. <clears throat> this is just a name. You don't want to change that. There's no reason to change that. The only thing you want to change if you're going to print ABS is go under temperature and change these numbers. These numbers are set for PLA. If you want to change the ABS, you want to change these to 20 more Celsius more on each one of these. So this should be 240, 240, 240, 240, 240, 245, 245, and then print. <clears throat> There's really no reason to change this um, if you're going to print uh, PLA. This is, I, I've gone through and renamed this, but it caused some issues. Just leave it. Just leave it alone because you're going to cause yourself all kinds of grief. So I've got in many people making that change and they wonder why their prints are not coming out because every single tab here has defaulted back to the old setting and if you change this from PLA to ABS I've seen it not put the values back this managed to, to mess up everything that we have set here and you don't realize it at the time and you hit save and then you're done so <clears throat> getting started SkeinForge is not really that scary it doesn't take long to learn what each item does and definitely check out all the videos that we're going to be releasing on every single one of these. Um, the only other area here that you might venture into is analyze and activate skin so. So if you check that after you generate an object it will actually show you a picture of your object and it will show the toolpath. It's very handy. But normally you would leave that off. That's the only other thing in Scheme Forge that you'll really mess spend your time with. So 
Alright, so get watching those videos and start learning and make sure to go to our forum on the website and there's an area for videos. Post what you want to see. Do you want to see videos on Art of Illusion? Do you want to see videos on Google SketchUp? Do you want to see videos, more videos on Adreno, NetFab? I plan on putting out videos for just about anything to do with 3D printers and we're all going to learn and make it as easy as possible for you to print the best object you can on your low-cost riprap 3D printer. We will see you later.